In this scenario, we have Santi who puts a cart on an inclined plane. And we have time zero, time, and delta t. We have y zero, y, and delta y. And we have v zero and v, v bar, and delta v. And so we know it's a 2.16 long in inclined plane, so that is the delta y, 2.16 meters. And he releases it. Well, he releases it from the top. That means that the velocity was zero meters per second in the beginning. And it reaches the bottom after 3.084 seconds. Well, that's the, the time interval, 3.084 seconds. And we want to know the final velocity of the cart. What is the final velocity of the cart as it travels down the inclined plane? Now, we could say if the change in time is 3.084, well, the starting time could be zero, and that means the ending time is 3.084. And if the change in position is 2.16, well, then the starting position could be zero, and the final position could be 2.16 meters. But we're looking for this change in velocity, or the final velocity. So let's look at the formulas we have. We have two. Average velocity is delta y over delta t. And average velocity is v plus v0 over 2. Now, the velocity we're looking for is the final velocity, which is this one. So since that's the only of the two, it's the only one that has a v in it, we know we have to use that formula. But let's see what else we know. We know v0. We know v0. We know delta t, and we know delta y. Well, delta y and delta t. So we can use this, if we, if we want the, this v, we do not know the average velocity, but we can find it over here. So the path is set for us, how to solve this. Even if we didn't know how to begin, by identifying our information, solving using all our equations, we can find out what we need. So v bar is delta y, 2.16 all over 3.084. And that gives us zero point seven zero zero three eight nine one oh five one. And since it's a velocity, it has units of meters per second. So that is our unrounded value. Now to express this properly, we notice that number has three digits, and this has four. So we can report three digits, 700, zero, zero, and this three, with the three, we keep. So our average velocity is 0 0.700 meters per second. Now, we're not looking for the average velocity. We're looking for the final velocity, so we just have all that written out. Now, uh, looking at our second equation now, we want to find the velocity. So we know v0 is we know v0 is 0. So our equation becomes v bar equals v over 2. And therefore v is twice the average velocity. And the average velocity, we always use the unrounded, is 0 0.7003891051. And when we multiply that by 2, we get 1.400.77821 meters per second. So we then have to figure out, oh, and it's meters per second, so we've got, we're in the ballpark. And next, we want to figure out the number of digits. Well, we have to remember this average velocity really only had three digits. So it had three digits, and this 2, because it's a perfect number, it's mathematically perfect, it has an infinite number of digits. So that means we're limited to three digits. Those three and this 0 causes us to keep. So therefore, the velocity is 1.40 meters per second. And that is our final best answer for the final velocity of the cart.